Good afternoon, vinyl community and YouTubers everywhere. Went by my post office this afternoon. Had a little package there. Nice big thick package. Please handle with care. Do not drop. Package from Reference Recordings in Pacifica, California. That's south of San Francisco, San Francisco Bay Area. This is from my friend Ian in Singapore. Thank you very much. And uh, it's not going to be a surprise what's in here because uh, he had these sent directly to me. He emailed me a copy of the uh, packing slip so that if there was any problem I could follow up with that. Got it today. I'm not very good at this, but... Uh, pocket knife my father gave me 35 40 years ago I still have it farm boy gotta have a pocket knife that's a miracle by itself not very good at pulling these things so usually you can just rip the, the other part and get it wasn't coming from too far away packed very well oh wow I, I knew what the records were, but I did not research them. I didn't look them up. So, uh, other than just the titles, I didn't know anything about them. Man, this, this is going to be a great one. I can't wait to listen to this. Fiona Boys, I'm a big blues person, my favorite genre. I probably know thousands of blues artists. I've not heard of this person. This really has to be good. Reference recordings. Professing the Blues. Half speed mastered. 180 gram vinyl. 45 RPM. Pressed at quality record pressing. So uh, I will do this little box opening here. And then I will attach onto this. I'll, I'll listen to these records. I'll give them a good review. Tell you what I think. Fiona Boy's guitars and vocals, got drums and percussion, and a bass on here, and uh, boy, I'm really looking forward to listening to this record. To pick uh, a fairly current modern blues person that I haven't heard of is a pretty good trick. Here's the second record. Rachmaninoff, Symphonic Dances. Won't know how to pronounce this by E.G. Wee and the Minnesota Orchestra. Half speed mastered, 200 gram virgin vinyl. I am much more familiar with Rachmaninoff, certainly, than I am this other record. Rachmaninoff, uh, I used to collect player piano rolls. I still have quite a few. He made about 37 player piano rolls, mostly of his own compositions, but other stuff. I had many of those, and back during that period, I listened to a lot of classical, particularly piano music. Rachmaninoff's one of my favorites. I don't know how Ian would know that, but I'm waiting to give this thing a spin. And, of course, reference recordings, half-speed mastered. I know these things are going to sound fantastic. So, Ian, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm really excited to listen to these, and you guys just hold on for a minute, and I'm going to take a listen and give these records a little review, so hold on. 600 career home runs. Busted his bat, and Carnacion is back. Home run. Our boy in Singapore, Singapore hit a home run all the way to the San Francisco Bay Area. He sent me a record with a song that was written with me in mind. When you look at that young man, he ain't much of much. Shaking his thing and old Mrs. Such and such. Well now, Grandpa might be creaky, but here's my tip. Ain't nothing wrong with a man who is old and stiff. He says, age and deceit will be the youth every time. For a man to get ahead, sometime it take a little time. 
He may be slow again round, but the mule still got a kick. And what's more, whims he knows how to use his stick. Old and stiff, good God Almighty, I said, old and stiff. Ain't nothing wrong with a man who is old and stiff. Well, his aches and pains will disappear. It won't cost you a dime. He may want a little rubbing, but honey, it's probably worth your time. Here's my tip, ain't nothing wrong with a man who is old and Nothing wrong with a man who's old and stiff, yeah. How did uh, she know about me when she was thinking of that song? Well, may not be the best song on the record. She was having a lot of fun. We're having a little fun with it today. This is a really good record, Fiona Boys. I'm a big blues person. How come I never heard of her? Well, the first thing is she's from Australia. Now that shouldn't exclude her because I got a favorite blues singer who does the Bessie Smith kind of blues songs in Australia. I've got two or three of her CDs. I can't even think of her name right now. Uh, and I've got friends in Australia, but uh, she's been up here all over the U.S. Uh, Ian likes Doug McLeod. I know that's one of his favorites. Well, Fiona could be his uh, long lost sister because uh, her style, uh, what she does, is a lot like what he does. One of the things, uh, all except one tune on here is written by her, co-written by her, and sometimes that can be a little bit risky on an album because to come up with good music, good melodies, and good lyrics that are original and fresh is hard to do, and she does it. She does a good job. This is uh, 45 RPM, Stoughton tip-on jacket, gatefold, lots of information on the inside. Got three paragraphs here about the recording engineer and uh, Keith O. Uh, Johnson, who was uh, one of the founders of Reference Recordings and uh, Half Speed Master by Paul Stubblebind. This is an outstanding sonically sounding record. Uh, she shows the four guitars that she uses here. She does a little bit of electric, she does some slides, she does some finger picking, uh, and she's not just doing one kind of style. Uh, even one of the tunes on here has a reggae rhythm to it. Uh, second one almost sounds reggae. She says she was uh, influenced by New Orleans music. So this is fresh. Uh, it's good. It's interesting. It's really enjoyable. And 
want to thank you for sending this. You opened me up to a new blues artist. A little additional information <clears throat> here that I left off. This was recorded at Skywalker Sound in Marin, uh, north of San Francisco in California. Of course, they used to do lots of movie stuff. They also do things like these albums now, and you got a lot of the top equipment, the top people there, but I also forgot to mention she's accompanied with a stand-up bass and uh, we'll call it percussion because uh, he plays drums, cardboard boxes, sticks, all kinds of things, but uh, uh, Jimmy Bott is the drummer and Denny Croy is uh, the stand-up bass guys. These guys are excellent. They work really well together and uh, not people you're going to hear of someplace. Uh, those two guys are more in the music education business maybe, but they're doing a great job of backing her up here. One last thing on this album. I always like those uh, accidents a lot of times are the funnest part of a recording session. The last tune on here called Face in the Mirror, uh, they were, weren't were exactly goofing around. The recording session was over. They didn't intend to put this on the album and uh, they were having fun playing a tune. Well, the tape was running and it was a good take. They put it on the album and uh, I always enjoy stuff like that you know it's the real thing when they do it it's not cut and splice and so forth and so again uh, excellent album yes I did I listened to Fiona play the blues and the very next instant I put on some Rachmaninoff symphonic dances and vocalese, hope I'm pronouncing that right. I wasn't familiar <coughs> with either one of these compositions. Uh, real nice again, gatefold, heavy jacket quality product. As all about the composition here, and uh, this is one of his later things and didn't get the recognition until later. And then a little short one, the last tune on here called Vocalese, he, he wrote as piano and vocal uh, for a friend of his who was a coloratura soprano in the Moscow Grand Opera in 1912. This was just supposed to be piano and vocal. Well, a guy asked him to do a symphonic arrangement where the first violins uh, play the melody, the vocal, it was a vocal without words, so they, you just, uh, she just used her voice like an instrument, would be great to hear a performance of that actually, I especially uh, look forward to that, here is about the conductor, about the Minnesota Orchestra, this was very good, and I think it's what the VC is all about. It's what liking music's all about. We can put on some good old time blues and we can put on some good old time classical one right after another and enjoy them. I'll tell you one thing this record does. This record m reminds you what the words dynamic range mean because uh, this goes from soft to loud and it goes to loud enough uh, I checked the volume a little bit because uh, I didn't know if the neighbors would enjoy it as much as I was or not but this really shows you what dynamics are about and uh, of course the sound is outstanding on this the only thing I'd have to say you sit in the chair in that sweet spot and close your eyes Yep, I don't think the Minnesota Orchestra will fit in my living room, but we gave it the old college try. So again, thank you for sending these, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So thank you, Ian. I'm going to leave a, right down here a link to his channel, and if you guys haven't already been there, check it out.